Hey everybody, it's Maria. I hope you're doing well. Happy Friday to you guys. Um, I have a small beauty haul for you guys, and then I'm going to share with you what I have on my face for the face today. But before I do that, I just want to explain something to you guys really quickly. I know I don't have to, but I want to just clear the air. Um, Wednesday, I had uh, posted a thank you, a nail haul, thank you, Jamie, and a couple of people had commented, and a few others, he and me, asked me if I was okay, that it seemed like I was down. <laughs> So, uh, first of all, I want to apologize about that. Um, to tell you the truth, I was um, just dealing with some issues around here. Um, but I do apologize um, for that. And number two, I was outside trying to keep quiet, not to disturb the neighbors on either side where I was at, and then my relatives behind me in the house. Although they, too, were trying to keep quiet because they knew I was doing the video. And they knew I was, uh, they were trying to, you know, give me just a little bit of quietness. Um, but... Um, anyway, I do apologize. I try to be as happy and as perky as I am, because um, this is, like I said, I love doing the videos, and this is like my escape from every day, even though I, for some reason, put a lot of pressure on myself to make each video perfect, but, oh well, no matter. Um, <laughs> and, uh, in case you're wondering, I did have my makeup, okay, the makeup collection video down, but I had gone back to watch it, and I don't believe I was happy with it, so, um, I don't even know if I'm going to bother with it now. Um, so I know a couple of people, at least one or two, had commented on it. So um, I'm not going to worry about it. But anyway, so if you're wondering why, where it's at, I, just, I took it down. So anyway. Um, I went to Kroger, my local grocery store that my husband and I go grocery shopping at a lot. And I had to go in there and get a few things for dinner. And I decided to pick up some new shampoo and conditioner. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Garnier Crew Chief Lime with the Aragon Oil. It's actually made my hair grow, and even though I'm due for a hair uh, trim right now, it just really made a difference in my my hair. Uh, I'm hoping to get it trimmed in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, yeah, because it's, it's in dire need of one. But I decided to save some money and try a different shampoo and conditioner because I believe my hair has getting has gotten so used to it by See, I take a shower every day, and I wash my hair every other day, sometimes every three days. But by the end of the the day after I've washed here, the second part of the middle part of the, I mean, the, the thing that it's like totally greasy and bleh. So, I don't know. It just, it didn't feel healthy. So, um, anyway, I decided to try a shampoo. I, I felt like it was just getting used to it. So I'm taking a break from using it, and I picked up some Alberta 405 products. Um, they're usually 89 cents there. They're on sale for 79 cents. And so the first thing I got was the 201 Shampoo and Conditioner. It's relatively new for them. And I used this last night in the shower, and what I was impressed with uh, was something that I'm usually not impressed with, 201s, because 201s usually leave my hair way down and heavy. Um, but this, according to this, supposed to, it's got soy milk protein, it cleans, conditions your hair, and just one step, moisturizing cleansers leave hair clean, soft, and more manageable. And the ultralight conditioners uh, are supposed to nourish your hair without laying it down. That part is true so far, because when I was rinsing my hair out after I washed it really good, um, usually when I even when I use the 2-in-1, it usually feels really heavy. It felt really soft and didn't feel oily or greasy or nothing. So, huh. so I towel dried my hair. I did forget to put my stuff in there, so I apologize. It's just going wacko. Um, but woke up this morning. It was soft and no issues. So um, I'm going to wash use this for the next couple of weeks and let you guys know what I think about it. And then I picked these two up in case that didn't work out, and that's their, it's for their moisture notes collection, which is similar to this. Um, the strawberries and cream, and this does smell so good. So I picked those up. Who knows, I may even con just continue buying this one. So, anyway. I'll let you guys know how I like it. They also have one for split ends. Say you go get your hair cut and you want to prevent split ends. It's They've got the shampoo in one bottle and the conditioner in another. And I took a picture of it on Instagram, I think. Um, I definitely want to try that out. So, 
go check that out. Um, I think you can find this brand probably at your local Dollar Tree if you don't have a Kroger in your area. And the other thing I picked up was I'm almost out of my Up and Up brand. I make it remember that I totally love, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to get to uh, Target. So I picked up the Kroger brand, all free. I make it remember for about four bucks. And when I was uh, doing my eyeshadow, I was having a little bit of a crazy moment. I had eyeshadow here and there, and I dabbed a little bit on a cotton ball to help to see if it would help me fix it. So I took it off. It's supposed to remove even waterproof mascara, so we'll see how it does tonight when I take off my eye makeup. So anyway, that's it for the haul. Um, this is my obviously my face today. I know it looks shiny, but I'm having what I call a Maria moment. <laughs> I have three of these makeup mist and set models. What happened was I had opened up one when my old one had finished and went, ooh, okay, I was using it. And then I misplaced it because I was doing some stuff and then I opened up the backup one. And in the midst of all this, I had an empty one that I had put water in there to mix my eyeshadow with. Hmm. Anyway, um, so I don't know which one is which. If you guys can let me know which one is which, let me know. Um, I know it's got like witch hazel, but I don't know it in either one of them. So um, I think that's why my face is shiny because of the fact well, that it's a little humid up here. Um, but usually when I use that stuff, it didn't make my face like this. So <laughs> and I'm having a serious nose itching problem. So anyway, this is my eye look of the day. And I broke out this palette I hadn't used. It's a, it came in the Breast Cancer Pink Train Case at Ulta. At, uh, I think I got it a couple of Octobers ago. And I made my own palette out of a CD case. This is the back of it. I used scrapbooking paper. And here's the palette. I put on the lid. I used Mink. Of course, I put that on after I put the crease color on first. And then on my crease, I put two colors in there. I put toast probably on the inner corner, and then I put Aztec gold on, on the outer corner of my crease. There's the gold one. There's the toast. And then, of course, I put this color for the brow. So, really like the effect it gave me. Um, so, I'm going to see how it holds up today. Whew. Um, sorry. <laughs> a little winded right now. Um, as far as my foundation, I put on the NYC Smith Skin Foundation Natural Buff. Now, the thing I was no noticing about this, it says it's supposed to, um, absorb shine without clogging pores, but I don't see that. I see shininess on my face. And it's supposed to be good for all skin types. The thing I did like about it is that when I put it on my skin is that it disappeared, but it, I mean, it dried so fast you really had no time to blend it out. So, I'm not really sure if this is going to be one of those ones where I'm going to hate it. It might be. But I have that on. I may just go back to the lighter. I'm, I really want the light foundation like the Revlon one I told you guys I'm nuts about. So I'm going to try this out another day or two. If it don't work out, I'm going to throw it away. Uh, on my face, I dust, since it was a little bit too dark, I dusted just the light amount of the MRC translucent powder. And then put on my LA Colors palette, the uh, compact and nude. And I'm trying out this lipstick. It's not holding up well. I don't know why. It's a NYX one. It's what my friend Lacey got me. Uh, ch chakra, I guess is the... It looks like this. And I got this uh, from her a few weeks ago. I hadn't had a chance to put it, uh, put it on. I had a different lip gloss on with it, but I'm trying a different one. And... I love this color, but I don't know. I want it to look right on me. And I've always been the type of infant that looks bright on me. If I love the color, I'll wear it.
But lacy, I am really loving this. I just, I never wore peach lipstick really much, but I'm giving it a whirl because it is such a pretty color. Now, I had on the other NYX lip gloss that she sent me, French Kiss, which I had worn before, but I forgot I had a peachy lip gloss, and this is Brighton Peach Beach Peach, which is kind of totally opposite. This is like a, like a pinky orange. So, and I've got another lip gloss that I may go with. I haven't put anything on. So, yeah. And I got that on. Um, I just, and it's such a soft lipstick that I may not be able to, I'm going to work here shortly, so I may have to just keep this, use this for when I'm around the house. So, but I am wearing it, and I am loving the color. I'm just trying to get used to the bright uh, look for the shade. So, thank you, Lacey. Um, Anyway, I have uh, two eyeliners on. I've got, <coughs> I've done swatches of them. I have Wet n Wild's Bronze on the bottom and the Shimmer Eye Pencil Copper from Wet n Wild, which I think I need to re swatch. There you go, I've got those on. And then I have my usual. Um, mascara combo on. Um, this mascara, there's a coupon, I think, in Sunday Paper, which I found. I'm actually going to send that to Veronica because I've got two backups of this. And Walgreens has their their stuff, I think, some of their stuff. Either buy one, get one half off, or half off. So that would be a good time to purchase another one. And then on my blush, I am trying to use this blush. Up. I'm determined to use this. Up. L Studio uh, Fusion Fusion because I've got so many blushes that I just really would like to use that up. It's a lot brighter than what my camera is showing. Trust me. <laughs> and then I did the Elf one dollar. This is in Shy. And I've forgotten. I've forgotten that I'm looking at contour, but <laughs> I. I used up the rest of uh, the one uh, blush that I've been trying to use, that one of the many ones I got. So I'm just straight with the full one looks like. Uh, this is the LA Colors Pink Blush. This is the other one because I, like I said, I got used the last bit of it up. So, yeah, I'm going with that look today. So, anyway, that's my uh, face of the day and everything else going on. Um, trying to get stuff ready for Saturday morning makeup. I've been thinking about doing what my friend Rachel. Rogers has been doing, I think I said her name wrong, the Ray Ray 1971, and she's been doing like a, a Friday, five favorites and uh, one fail, um, and that, oh, that is actually not sounding too bad, sorry about that, <laughs> um, so I'm thinking about doing something similar to it, but I kind of do it already on my Saturday morning makeup chit chat, so, because I do have some pills I need to talk to you guys about that I have used. I did go two days this week without makeup. Yesterday was one on one because it was so hot. And then um, I think it was Tuesday. I was uh, I just didn't, didn't get around to putting all my makeup. I don't know. So yeah. And I've, I've had some people ask me if I can do any more videos, and I am. I'm just I'm focusing on um, some other stuff going on right now in my life that this is kind of taking a back burner. But I want to make sure I'm. And I did mention I'm trying to. Just do one or two videos a week, um, but, um, and again, if you have any requests that you would like to see, uh, leave it in the comments below, let me know, and, but I haven't had too many of them, so I guess there's something, I'm kind of like at a standstill, and I'm going back to see what I can do, get some inspiration, so, now I'm talking about them. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later, I have to go finish getting ready for work, uh, I will see you later, uh, I guess it'll be tomorrow, so. Anyway, have a fantastic party. Bye.